Okay, day one of my new project. This is the solar bike. This is the idea of taking a decently sized cargo bike. In this case, I'm using a KBO Ranger. Although, if I had to redo this project from scratch, I'd probably be saying I'd be doing a either a Rad Wagon or one of that new electric XP bike. Something relatively cheap, but has a sturdier back frame. This frame back here isn't that sturdy. Anyway. The idea behind the project is to build a cargo uh, container on the back over here and have solar panels be hanging off of it. This is version one of the project, just as more of a proof of concept. You know, you can throw a milk crate back there or a couple of extra uh, batteries. This is the battery type the uh, system uses. And I have it currently set up to a Chinesium LE Joy charge controller in order to, well, you know, see if we can get the thing working. At the moment, it is outputting, I don't think it's reading on here, but it says 22 volts on the input, 0.01 amps on the input, and the output is showing nothing. So, yeah, that's fine. Anyway. What I plan on doing here is when I get a bit of sunshine, I was going to go and do a read it, plug it into my battery over here, see if it worked. It, I tried reading the battery of voltage itself and it looks like it output, outputs 54.6 volts. And that would be on the center connector on a regular barrel plug like this. Not overly complicated, but it's, you know, just something to keep in mind. I'm going to be coming up with a Google Doc and uh, seeing if I can show other people how to do this. So this way, if I blow up this bike, it's going to be on me. It's not going to be on you guys. All right. That being said, you know, it's a Chinesium charge controller. Honestly, the bike is also a little kind of Chinesium-ish. Like, it's a lot better than a lot of other e-bikes I've found, but it's still... Uh, Still got its quirks. You know, I, I got it for $15 on, uh, $1,500 online. Can't really complain too much. What I am happy about is this box over here. I managed to build out of pretty much nothing. Uh, like, just scrap I had lying around. I've got it connected to uh, the bike using a couple of these hose clamps. Or plumber's clamps, or whatever you like to call them. They're just tightened down on the side over here. And I'm going to be moving this red light further out, provided I get this working. I have it hooked up on the top using a, I believe it's called a piano uh, hinge. And on the back interior of it, I have just wires going out the wazoo on it. Yeah, this is all just, I really would like to make this as light as possible, so I might be stripping it down a little bit further. For the moment, this is more of a proof of concept but I measured this out this box interior dimension is about 25 point and a half uh, long from bow to stern over here as you might put it port to starboard or left to right you're looking at about 20 inches wide on the dot that's because I'm building this to be the size of these solar panels I'm using these Renogy fixed monocrystalline 50 watt solar panels because you can get them for pretty cheap at the moment. They're pretty sturdy. They're kind of lightweight. Not super lightweight, but you know. Beggars can be choosers. And I'm thinking, okay, if provide this project goes well and I get it working, I'm going to do one panel up on the top here, another panel that can fold down over onto it, like a big pizza box or a laptop. And if that goes well, I might even throw two on the side over here that will flip up, kind of like gullwing doors. Anyway, that's the plan at the moment. Let's plug this. In order to test to make sure it's actually working right, I've got it on here and it says that it is one lower. I think my theory of operation for how this works is this charger, it has it on green light whenever it's fully charged or whenever it's ready to charge something, and it has a red light on whenever it's charging. So I don't think there's any kind of data going on here. I'm pretty sure that all it is is it outputs this 54.6 uh, uh, volts DC 
through the cinder barrel connector on hot and I'm pretty sure it just has the green light on whenever it's not uh, has doesn't have current flowing through it and the red light on whenever it's performing work so to speak all right just trying to collect my thoughts on this anyway um, I've rode it around a little bit with this back here to make sure it actually works and even though I need to have a uh, I think the only thing I'm going to need to upgrade for this initial thing is I need to have a better connect setup for this. I'm going to have this mounted back in there somewhere, right? You know, somewhere where it's dark so you can actually see the red light pop up on it. But it'll be out of the way of things. Like, I want there to be a, a toolbox back there, a spare battery back there, and, you know, like my jumper kit. Uh, milk crate full of stuff. And then on the side, I'm going to have jump uh, bungee cords uh, holding grocery bags if I need to do that. I hope to eventually take this down to uh, the Rock Island Trail and go across the Katy Trail and go across St. Louis with it. Or from Kansas City to St. Louis. That is the plan. Oh, well. Anyway, it's a beautiful, sunny, warm day out. It is... Well, all right, let's call it partially sunny partially cloudy glass half full whatever and it is the 28th of december 2023 freakishly warm out let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see what happens please don't blow up Okay, it's showing it at being 37.38.9. So I need to get it up to 54.6 at the moment. Okay, I'm not hitting it okay, which is part of the problem here. Let's hope I'm not ruining the battery chemistry right now. Come on. Because you just have to hold down the arrow and then hit okay on it. And I understand that you can't really see that this well with how, what type of display this is, but I assure you I'm increasing it to 54.6. And good. Hit okay. And it just reverted down to 53.3 .3 for some reason. Okay, let's try moving it up again. We have 54.6. Hit OK. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh my god, it's working. Yep, we're, I have it at 54.6, but now it's reading 53.3 .3 because it's at about 75% of charge right now, I think. And so what that would imply is... It's at 0.46 amps right now, at 53.3. That means I'm having about maybe 25 watts pumped into this thing. And that's not bad, actually. Considering it's, you know, partially cloudy all day. It's doing that... It's the first sunny day I've gotten. It's doing that kind of half, uh, half sunny, half gray type of day. So I think this is just going to be turning off and on most of the time. But yeah, it's reading uh, plenty of current. I can't tell if you guys can read it. No, I'm looking in through the camera and you guys can't read it very well. But it is working. 53.2 at the moment at 0 0.24, 0 0.27. And then as this cloud gets out of the way, it gets brighter. And we see it jump up to a full half amp. Okay, so this is a good sign. 
yeah, you're not going to be fast charging this at all, but this isn't a bad option if you are on the move and you need to get the some uh, power on here. I think this would be a really good, like, prepping vehicle or something like that, you know? Like, uh, say, for example, you need to uh, get out of town, but you need something that will be grid-down resilient, and you need something that can move some cargo. Especially if you have, like, a trailer hooked up to this with even more solar panels on it. That'd be great. You could theoretically have this at, I don't know, what would be a good number for this? The charging, uh, charge controller itself only does 150 out, uh, watts of output and will charge it in five hours. It's a 850 watt hour battery, or this one is. I can fit two, three, I can fit a ton of these things in there. I could fit, actually I could easily just... They have a little spot on the bike I can charge it. I wanted to bring it out so I could show you how I could uh, do this real easy. But something I could do is I could just have like a like a pinball rack on the side over here. And then just drill holes uh, wherever I uh, need a battery to be on it. And I could just rotate them out. That sounds a little stupid now that I think about it. But you know, well, no, you know what, I'll think about it. Anyway, um, this seems to be working so far. I will update more when I know what I'm doing. Or something else. Alright, cool. Later. Bye.